were watching Appalachian Axe Works on YouTube. Alright, well this is going to be a different one for the channel. So, welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about a vintage circular saw. So this one right here is a Craftsman. Seven and a half inch circular saw. This thing is a beast. It's really heavy. It came in this metal box. Um, and <clears throat> my wife and son picked this up at a yard sale recently for two dollars. And this thing is from the mid 60s. They ran about 41, 42 dollars uh, in the mid 60s. So that's a lot of money. Uh, in today's time, um, that equates to about, I don't know, 400 bucks in today's money. And you could buy a, a, a nice worm drive skill saw with that money. So, comparatively, um, it's a nice saw. I've tested it already. It works. Um, it works very nicely, but we're gonna, we'll, sh we'll show you a couple cuts in this video. But this is a really neat saw. It's an all metal case and it comes with this carrying case. And when they came, they had some uh, accessories with them. This does not have the accessories in the box, but it does have the box. Uh, let's, see, let's remove it out of the box. It's got this little plate on it right here. And we'll hone in there on the plate. And as you can see on the plate, it says it's seven and a half inch saw, 100% uh, ball and needle bearings, 115 volts, 11 amps. Two horsepower, which is that's that's pretty uh, pretty healthy. Sears and Roebuck, and Simpson Sears. Simpson Sears was Canada, so made in the USA. Has a serial number, so really neat. And it says it's industrial rated. So now it is dirty, but it it works like a champ. So I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at a few cuts. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Got this two by four. Let's see how it cuts. Well, cuts pretty good. Let's try it again. Yep, yep, takes care of business pretty good. Alright, well cuts pretty smooth for a 50 something year old tool well there you have it cuts like a champ for two dollars at a yard sale we see these all the time in yard sales um, some sometimes they're not quite as old as this sometimes they're older I see them yard sales flea markets for a dollar or two very rarely are they more than that most people just want to get rid of them um, but this is one of those things where there's no reason you shouldn't have a, a corded power tool as at least as a backup even if you have all the fancy battery tools I know uh, Jeff over at Denna Tools talks about having corded power tools as a backup you know to your 
to your fancy battery power tools and I couldn't agree more there's no reason especially when you can get quality tools like this out there for very cheap price there's no reason you shouldn't have corded power tools at least as backup and and if you're somebody that doesn't need those you know four hundred dollar five hundred dollar battery powered tools and you're just somebody that cuts occasionally there's no reason this can't be your primary power tool so again this is a great tool for two bucks i mean it's lasted all these years it's got a lot of life left in it um, normally i'm when i find, run across these i usually push them on down the road because i have my own collection of corded power tools but this one might stay with me i haven't decided yet but i really like it it works like a champ and this one might stay with me so anyway appreciate you watching the video again no reason not to have corded power tools especially when you can find a nice tool like this one um, again thanks for watching the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like button and we'll see you on the next vintage power tool video thanks